Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is set tick group. There's no real example for this one. This one is more of a in practice node. Let's go ahead and look at it. So if we type in set tick group, well, you're not going to find it. It's one of the nodes that is context sensitive because it needs to be hooked up to either an actor or an actor component. They both function the same. We're going to go ahead and look at the actor one because it's easiest. You can apply this to an actor component if you have an actor component as part of your blueprint. So the set tick group basically takes in a target, in this case it's our actor, and then it takes in a new tick group. There are four tick groups. There used to be more. Epic at one point was going to redo the way ticks worked, but they decided to, actually they were going to remove them. Then they decided they were going to keep them as is and just use them in this basic function for the ability to basically determine if your tick works before, during, or after physics, as well as after camera movement. And I'll discuss that a little bit further. Now the tick group itself can be set in two different ways. If we go into the actor itself, and we go to the class defaults, under actor tick, the advanced section is the tick group. And we have the four options here. First one is pre-physics, things done before physics are run. This is traditionally your default tick group. Other than that, you have during physics, things that run while physics are running, if you want this item to tick. Post physics, after the tick is run, this is going, to, after physics has run, this item will tick. And then post update work. And I'll discuss that one further in a second when I show you a web page. But basically, this is done after a lot of things have ran, such as camera movement. If you need more finer tick, this is your latest tick that you can tick. Now you can adjust it here, or if you need to change it at runtime, that is what our set tick group note is for. Now let me go ahead and pull up a page. This is a Unreal Engine 4 document called Actor Ticking, and I will link it in the description below. And it covers basically everything in regards to ticking. The important things here are the tick group order, which we discussed. And if you notice here, we have NA and NA. Like I mentioned before, there were some other ones, but they've removed them. And then you have things such as what each group compromises. This is the group before pre-physics, why you may want to use it. During physics, why you may want to use it. Post-physics. And it gives you an example, like this is a good group for weapon or movement traces. So that way, after physics have been applied, you have accurate data. And then the last one is our update work, and this is what I mentioned. Basically, like it mentions here, update work happens after cameras are updated. If you need to have any effects that rely on knowing exactly where the camera is pointed, this is a good place to put the actors that control these effects. Basically, this is the last chance after everything has been run before a tick can happen. So it's kind of important. Then you have some information such as an example usage, things such as spawning and ticking, and ways to adjust it, and then advanced ticking functionality. Now advanced ticking functionality is covered separately in other videos, but this is a good web page if you need to know when things should be ticked. And you'll know you need to do this if you're having problems. For example, you have a fighting game and it uses physics, or you have a game that relies, relies on a lot of physics and for some reason your line traces are never accurate. They're always off by a frame. Well, you may need to adjust the tick group. So that's something to keep in mind. When you're working with physics especially, the tick group can be adjusted and is really handy. So that is going to wrap up this video. You can set the tick group using the set tick group node or you can set it under the class defaults, actor tick, advanced section.